Well, I grew up in uh, Alexandria, Louisiana. I had a, a very, very fun and interesting and, and a relatively easy childhood. Rode my bicycle to school. It was, uh, it was just kind of a classic uh, 1960s way to, way to uh, grow up. Our parents were pretty demanding, um, and so we were expected to do well in everything that we did. My father had gone to Tulane Medical School, uh, and, and my brother had gone to Tulane, and I grew up in Louisiana, so it was kind of a natural progression for, for me. I was a pretty good student, so I studied plenty, but also had a lot of fun. So I left uh, Tulane Law School in seven, 1979, and um, I'd originally taken a job in New Orleans with a law firm, and I thought, wow, why don't I think about Murphy? Uh, because it was the family that, uh, it was a company that my family, my grandfather had started, my uncle was running at the time. We were all over the world, uh, and so you did a lot of different things. And so I'd write a proxy statement, uh, I did some tax work, it's just whatever needed to be done, they'd go send a lawyer to go do it if it involved some legal issue, which most do. And so I got a lot of exposure early. and then. Um, got some promotions to have more operational experience running bigger, bigger operations in the company. In 1994, Claiborne was named president and chief executive officer and set to work restructuring many aspects of the company. We still had a big farm and timber subsidiary in the company. I think collectively we said, you know, why don't we separate Deltic into a separate company and let the market value it, because it's hidden in the, in the assets of this much bigger company, which is an oil and gas company, and, and ended up being worth close to a billion dollars as a separately traded entity. So it was a really good decision from that, from that standpoint. And then the Murphy USA uh, investment was, was a different kettle of fish in a way. The UK started selling um, gasoline from kiosk in front of their version of big boxes way before they did in the US. I actually started in France. Uh, and I went, you know, uh, Walmart's in uh, Bentonville, Arkansas, they're the best discounter on the planet. They do not sell gasoline. Somebody is gonna get the job of selling gasoline in front of Walmart super centers. And it's gonna be a great investment. And by gosh, it ought to be us. Uh, but we ended up making the partnership. And so starting in 98, 97, 98, we started building these sites in front of Walmarts, uh, and that ended up being what's now called Murphy USA. We spun that off as a separate company later, uh, and now it's a separately traded $2.5 billion company, which is a terrific, terrific company. And then in 2002, we made a massive discovery off the coast of Borneo. Uh, it, it was a 500 million barrel field and we had 80% interest in it. Uh, that and the Walmart investment were the two probably biggest kind of legacy investments that occurred while I was at the company. In December 2006, Deming had an idea that would transform the city that is home to the headquarters of Murphy Oil. El Dorado is special uh, in the sense that uh, the company started here and my family uh, started here and still is here. The beauty of the El Dorado Promise is it just provides a, 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 an under, a structure for people to start from, a, a place where they can launch their lives. And the way that we put it together, it's always here. It's a permanent fund. Uh, so if you go to El Dorado uh, Public School Systems and graduate from El Dorado High School, you will go to college if you want to. When we presented it to the board, uh, we had spent three hours trying to decide if we wanted to invest in a big oil field off the west coast of Africa. But right after that, we, we, uh, we brought before the board the El Dorado Promise. And just to show you what type of people this board is, they almost didn't even discuss it. They said, that is a terrific idea. Let's do it. So it just reflects on who this company is, what, what it stands for, and what, what it can do. I was there for 15 years, so, so by golly, we should have grown. <laughs> so we took it from about, uh, say, 40 or 50,000 barrels a day to 200,000 barrels a day. Uh, our, our stock went up about uh, almost tenfold. Um, we had a lot of things at the end that really were, were, were very helpful and favorable to us, but, you know, luckily we were in the right place at the right time to take advantage of. To be recognized by your peers and to be recognized uh, along with that, the group of uh, extremely accomplished people who went before uh, is, is an honor. Uh, it, it's an honor. Uh, and it's certainly one of the highest honors of my business career uh, to be included in, in a group 
um, such as that. Yeah.